Well, we're uh, riding at anchor after a, uh, a day of not getting very far. Yeah. Ended up having some uh, uh, 20 to 25 knot headwinds um, on the trip upriver. So. Paddling or rowing against that kind of wind, even with the tide, that would have been a real, uh, real slog. So just add anchor again here at the, uh, the landing. Boat's bouncing around quite a bit in the in the wind. It's almost picked up since uh, earlier today. Uh, supposed to have good breeze tomorrow. So tomorrow I'm still hoping to uh, get over to uh, Joppa in Newburyport, which should be good. It looks like we have plenty of wind for the sail over as well, so hopefully get some decent sailing footage. And, uh, yeah. oh, probably, uh, Leave with the uh, with the high tide headed to Joppa, and make it in there maybe uh, two o'clock or so. I'm hoping. Leave here around noon, and uh, yeah, I'll probably have a reefed main. I don't have the bowsprit on, so I want the. I don't even have the option of the flying jib, but it's not something I would have used on any of these little back creeks and uh, rivers anyway. It's usually only worth uh, worth setting up if I'm going to be on a tack for a while, you know, like an hour or more. Then. Uh, then it's definitely worth flying, but it's uh, you know, a whole nother two lines, so you're almost doubling the number of lines you gotta handle when you're coming about. So if you're attacking a lot, it's just not a not the best thing to have up. It's not quite as close winded as the uh, staysail is either. I can hear the wind breezing up out there. Uh, let's see if we can take a look out at the hatch.